So here's a couple of Nemo clownfish, Ocellaris clowns, that are hanging out in their Ocellaris anemone. A lot of people get very disappointed when they buy Nemo clownfish, and they put them in their aquarium and they buy a common good old Hectoractus or bubble tip anemone, and the clownfish doesn't want to go in it. If you're really lucky, the clownfish will go in it, but the Ocellaris clownfish tend to want Ocellaris anemones. Now they also tend to go in carpet anemones, but the problem with carpet anemones is sometimes they eat your fish. So you, then you need to get an Ocellaris anemone. The problem with Ocellaris anemones is they usually come into stock and they're very large. And they're also very expensive. So often people will buy these clownfish without an anemone and there's no problem with that. And the ane clownfish tend to go in the tank and they do what's called scenting which means they just sort of do a little figure eight in one spot until they get comfortable enough to start moving around the aquarium and find a territory. And that's all pretty normal. Um, I just want to warn anyone, um, be very careful when keeping anemones. Because anemones can be a pain in the neck. They can get stuck in your power heads, they can bomb your tank, they can clog your filters, they can cause you all sorts of trouble. So if you are going to buy an anemone, you must be prepared. You must make sure your tank is an enemy proof. If you need more information on that, come down and see us. But, absolutely beautiful nonetheless.